Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the new uh, legendary hero Terror, uh, and you are gonna see that his damage uh, are pretty nice. But I'm gonna compare it with Margarita and we are gonna see uh, which one is better than the other. So, uh, first of all, uh, here uh, let me explain the team I am using. I'm using everything that can increase the damage on my heroes and lower the defenses and the tenacity of enemies thanks to Ulcaster and Bizidon. It is gonna be huge. So, first of all, uh, let's try something. I want all the crit rate crit damage on my hero uh, and I'm gonna use him first. So, let's do it. I increase my turn meta. Uh, I'm gonna lower... Um, uh, let me increase my effect hit on Ulcaster to apply debuffs. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give the turn and the buffs to uh, Terror. And then I'm gonna use his ultimate. So, let's have a look to his skills before I use them. So, first one... This one is going to deal 390% attack damage to all enemies and it ignores all shields. And it is pretty interesting, uh, but at the beginning of the fight, normally enemies won't have any shield if you want to use this kind of team. The goal is to outspeed the enemy and to deal the damage before they play. Uh, otherwise, normally if someone is fast enough to bring a shield on them, that means they also can control you using Using a, a Nicholas, for example, so it's not gonna work. Um, for the Tower of Mark, it can be interesting because a four, uh, n almost 400% attack damage coefficient can be interesting, uh, but it's a direct damage dealer. And on the Force Mark, you can use uh, who can you use? Maybe a Malik in order to reduce the damage, uh, the defense, and the tenacity of the target. But then then I'm not sure that it can be really interesting for the Tower of Mark. So we are going to have a look to that. But before these skills, we have the coefficients now. He's going to deal two stages of 320% attack damage to a single enemy. That means 640% attack damage with a three-turn cooldown skill. And this is pretty insane because you also are gonna absorb a part of the target's max HP, 8%, and it caps at 16% of self max HP, and the effect, the absorbing, is tripled against bosses. It is tripled, this is huge. He is gonna deal a crazy amount of damage using this skill on bosses, and also he is gonna heal a lot, using that every three turns. This skill is insane. In my opinion, it is gonna be huge. We are going to see how much he can heal himself using this skill right after that. And then the basic attack. He deals a 260% attack damage to a single enemy. And if the target uh, has a shield, he's going to deal 30% more damage using this. Which is pretty interesting against uh, sh targets with shields. Otherwise, he is going to have a 90% chance to reduce the shielded effect of the target by 40%. But this can be great in Tower of Mark and also in PvP because you have a nice coefficient on him and you can lower the shielded effect on enemies which is pretty insane. If you use him with Ben Austin for example you just have to do a pursuit and then you are gonna reduce the shielded effect of the target using Ben Austin. So this is insane in my opinion. But enough talk, let's try the ultimate. The damage were nice. The damage were nice. 2,000... 2,200k. 2,200k, which is pretty nice. Now let's retry with Margarita without any exclusive. So let me increase the effect hit here. Oh, okay, I didn't use... Yeah, I didn't use my old caster because uh, this hero was faster. Uh, so let's, tr let's try it again. Let's try it again. Oh, uh, let me put again Bizden. Bizden, blue mark hero. I wanted to lower his exclusive. Uh, and this way, maybe my hero is going to have more speed. I hope. I hope so. Let me uh, see. Uh, um, okay, now he's faster. Now he is faster. 
So uh, I, I don't want effect hit. I don't want effect hit. I want every uh, damage. And here I want effect hit. So let's do it again. So uh, let me increase it. Lower the defense. Oh, yeah, I, I used it before. Sorry, I used it. I'm sorry. I thought I, I didn't do it. So let's try. Okay, this is the same damage as before. 2200k. So let's try with Margarita now. So if I jump here, I want to increase the effect hit, and here I want to increase crit rate, crit damage. Let's increase turn meter, lower the defense and tenacity, and give Margarita all the buffs, and let's use the ultimate. And she does more damage without exclusive, but we know that Margarita with the first exclusive is gonna deal insane damage, so let's compare both of them. So, uh, first of all, if I have a look to him, the first exclusive, it will just increase the absorption amount of the second skill. Uh, so, it won't increase his damage on the ultimate. Second one, he is gonna get some turn meter for every shield he breaks. And same for the ally, if the ally breaks a shield. And the third one, if he kills an enemy using it, uh, he is gonna refresh his cooldown and increase his turn meta. So normally, if you have a, a purple around him, the one that can increase his turn meta, uh, probably if you kill a target using the ultimate, you will uh, have one extra turn and the full cooldown of this skill, so you can cycle this skill until the, the full enemy team is dead. I don't know why it's written this way. Uh, maybe uh, they should have in, uh, refreshed the, the cooldowns by uh, three turns, maybe, or uh, two turns in order to uh, prevent uh, him to do that. Otherwise, he's going to be super, super strong. Uh, if he can kill the enemy, though. So uh, let's try Margarita with the first exclusive. Uh, let's try them uh, with all the exclusive. So let's retry. Let's uh, modify his stats, so he has everything we need. Lower target defenses. Give him an extra turn. Let's use this. And now the final result, almost the same as before. Because nothing increases his damage on skills. The exclusive doesn't touch the damage on his skills. Now let's retry with Margarita, because Margarita uh, will cast her passive with the first exclusive, so she's gonna deal more damage. So let me increase Ulcaster effect hit, lower everything, and now give the extra turn and the buff to Margarita, and let's try this. And now normally the damage should be insane. Yeah, the damage are insane. There is a huge difference. So uh, if you use Margarita in Arena against Nikolai Exclusive 3, it's probably gonna work, but I'm, I don't think that it's gonna work with him. Also because he deals only one stage of attack, so it's not gonna work against Nikolai's Exclusive 3. So I'm a bit disappointed about that because I was expecting him to be super, super efficient against the Nikolai's Exclusive 3, but apparently it's better to use a Margarita. And yeah, Margarita works against all Nikolai's Exclusive 3 teams, if there isn't any Nazil to freeze her uh, when she attacks. So uh, let's try the second skill now in order to see how much uh, heals do I have on him. The heals are pretty nice though. Let's have a look. Okay, it's not really written. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. So uh, let's do this. Lower the speed. Okay, so I'm I'm frozen. Let's let's use this second skill. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do this again on the him, and now I want to use the second skill again to see the difference. So let's do this. Lower the speed and attack him. He healed more than 500k. 32k it's not it's not accurate he dealt more than that he absorbed more than that 
I have to try again. I'm pretty sure I saw more figures than that, right? So let's try again. Yeah, he healed more than that. He healed 400k before, something like this, 450k, not only uh, what is written here. Yes, there's something weird about this. So he is pretty interesting for this kind of things. Now let's try on against some kind of PvP team, so with everything that is cancer. Uh, where is Nicholas? Where is Pauline? Everything, blah blah blah. I'm gonna use this. I want to remove her because I want someone to remove the shields of enemies. Um, I'm gonna use Elena maybe. With all exclusives in order to get some speed on her. Let's try with that. So Pauline is gonna play first. Normally apply some buffs on enemies or maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, it's because Pauline has too many exclusives, so he has too much speed. And normally, he doesn't have everything like this. So, as you can see now, Pauline is gonna play. And my hero is still too fast. So, let's lower uh, the speed of my space. Now, it should be okay. Pauline plays first. Place all his buffs. So now I want to increase the stats here, the effect hit, and it should be okay. So I increase my turn meter, I steal all the buffs, I lower their defenses, increase my attack, but it's only one stage of damage. So they are gonna get the extra life thanks to the apple of Nicholas, and it's not gonna work. Yeah, as you saw, it didn't work. So now I'm gonna die. So this is not working properly. So maybe if I use someone else here instead of him, if I had focus, for example, where is focus? Focus, focus. Uh, focus is a green. If I remember correctly, he is here. And I want to have three exclusives on him. I want him to be uh, slowest than my other heroes. I don't know if it's gonna be the case. I think he has more speed than my Bizidon though. So I'm gonna increase the speed of my Bizidon. Is it gonna work? Um, I don't think so. Let me check. Okay. I still have more speed on him. So let's try to increase this and to lower this uh, as much as I can. Increase this. And then it should be okay. Should I do that only? Yeah, with that only, uh, my heroes are gonna play before enemies normally. So I remove buffs, and now my Bizidon plays before. Okay, please. Um, enemies are too fast, so let me change things right here. I don't want them to play too fast. So I'm gonna do this again. Let's try. Um, increase my crit rate, crit damage, lower his speed, increase his speed instead, and now it should be okay. Yeah, I have all, this, all the stats. So let's try again. And I did it wrong. I didn't want to use this. But it's okay. It's okay. If, I'm, if my heroes play in the right order, and no, it's not the case, so let me restart it. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. So let's try again. So I increase this, I lower this, I increase this to the maximum, and now I'm gonna do this only. So, he plays, now my hero plays, my hero are gonna play, but I want to increase the speed of my uh, hero now, so he will get more turn meter after that normally. I give the extra turn to him. I'm going to use this and I'm going to give him another turn so but now all enemies have still the apple so it's not working this way so he is not a great hero to bring in here because if I replace him by Margarita and try to do the same you're going to see that it's way better with only one exclusive 
So let's retry. Here I want her uh, crit rate, crit damage. I want to increase his speed and lower his speed. I'm going to do that. Now I want to increase his speed to the maximum. So let's do this. Give the buffs. And now let's have a look. And they they die. They die. And now they are completely dead. So Margarita is still better for the arena. So it is an interesting hero because he can absorb a lot of HP. Uh, probably he's going to be great. Probably he is going to be great in the Brotherhood faction because he can deal a lot of damage and self-heal. If you use him with Mutu, for example, both of them can heal a lot. And probably he's going to be great in this faction, otherwise uh, in Arena you have better choice. You just use your Margarita exclusive one, it's, it's going to do better than, uh, than him. So that was all for the video. Tell me what do you think about it in the comment below. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.